Okay, so exciting times. I think my water just broke. You had a false alarm before. You're so pretty. Oh, so right now everything's okay. I'm still on the so baseline. not. That was just me peeing my pants, but um, I think this time the water has been like leaking quite frequently. So we're gonna go check ourselves in. <laughs> Here, checked ourselves into Thompson Medical. Wave to the camera. It was the start of like a 14 hour journey. I shall look like I'm crying. Enjoy. Being too cozy in there, so she needed to be kind of induced. And um, I just got into my bed. <laughs> here. Okay, Sam, you're Yeah. my things. I brought chocolates. It's to 3 cm to 4 cm dilated and we are gonna see how this goes. We're waiting for two more hours before we make a decision. But we'll try for next. Push push push. And buha. And buha. And buha. One tag for the baby. One for the baby cot. And then one for you. I got wheeled into the operating theatre at uh, about 12, 12, 10. And then, boom, at 12, maybe 30 or something, you came in. And then at 12, 38, she was born. It was so quick that like, I was in shock. He was dressed in the PPE, he cut the umbilical cord, he went in there and like, your mind just goes blank once you hear. And the baby was all kinds of weird, weird colours, so I wasn't sure if she was doing okay or not. Okay, but there's a story behind that. That's because her umbilical cord was around her tummy. Yeah, she yeah. was blue. I was yeah. like, what the hell is happening? So um, that was a bit scary for Yeah, us. but all it took is to put a little bit of oxygen on her face and then the color went really nice right yeah. away. Come the toes, one, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Yes, Roman. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Yes, amiguita, como estas? Muy bien. But I would say, I think, I think it hasn't quite hit us yet. Yeah, not especially yet. because we are not doing much ourselves. I mean, besides the feeding, um, you know, we have nurses that like change diapers, yeah. dress the baby. So I think it's gonna get more real when we are very hands-on ourselves, I and think. back home. And back home. Yeah. For now, it's kind of like... Just... Enjoying, Holiday. Enjoying Holiday. the ride. And... Yeah. But... I, I can see it's going to be fun. Yeah, it's been it's been good bonding so far. And I think this is uh, the start of a very, very adventurous and a very exciting journey. Yeah. Baby! In Spanish, there's a word called milagro which is, it translates for miracle. And Mila is short for miracle in Spanish, yeah. As simple as that, um, we- Oh, she knows we're talking about her. She doesn't like the name. No. <laughs> or maybe she knows her name. Uh, right. But she doesn't like it, she's crying for it. No. The long story to why miracle is mm. because Charmaine has one ovary. So her fertility was a bit of a question mark. Um, so when we got pregnant, which happened very quickly, we thought it was a great miracle because we were not sure if we could get pregnant at all. And so it happened right away, so Mila is short for miracle. Yeah, it's actually one that she's here. Wow, Mila. Look at those little nails. Oh! <laughs> You want to leave a message for her before she goes out? I would say life is hard, but it's going to be okay. But I was going to say something that you would have said, which is uh, like, you know, discover your natural talents and we'll be right there with you. That's right. Yeah, every step of the way. <laughs>